Would you like to see these feet picks? You see, the book boys will not tell you this, but I have a hypothesis that their feet look like this uh, to what is called emulate a toxic spider to make the birds scared uh, and not eating them. Walcanaria aronticeps, spider with the red legs looks identical to my friend's feet. Yes? No? Yes? Greetings, you. Drop everything, it's Everest. Your friend Everest, can you feel the thrill in the air? He it's time for a wild rollered coaster through the reptile realms. Right here on Herp Corner series where we delve into the ins and outs of some of the weird reptile amphibians. Buckle up because you're in for a special black and whited worms with the legs. Oh, oh, uh, cool fact. Hold on to your circuits because I'm about to drop a bomb. Diplo glossy fascist critters do a little become lighter into adulthood. Have you known is heard of known as about the something called sympatratic toxic myriapods? No. Oh, it's like a glamorous worm in the jungle, folks. The toxic myriapods gave the gollywasp the gift of stripes. So now the, the gollywasp not only has the the small feet because the small feet make them look like more like a like a like a centipede, like a myriapod, like a toxic myriapod. So that scares the birds off, to, makes them not want to eat them. But but also the gift of stripes. They have a similar color pattern to the to the toxic myriapods, the centipedes, the millipedes, the little guys. They have the similar similar pattern. So now they look like them. So they win. They have the gift of stripes. Now let's dial it to basics. Diving straight into the heart of the matter, the carrot charismatic diplo gloss fascist or as i like to call him banded golly wander uh wasper wasp the golly wasped found strutting his stuff in the tropical forests and the luscious atlantic forest sight to behold uh nobody knows a thing about golly wasp with the stripes because he is so missing and and is not here right now it's called it is an uncommon species suggesting either secretive habits low density or maybe secretive habit stats cool f facts Oh, hang on to your wallet, it's time for a named game. These gallant golly wasps have gone by many title. Heben Derte Kal Wespen Schleech. In the wild world of German and Riba Kalango Coral, Kalango Liso, Cobra de Patas, Lagarto Coral, Vibora. In the tongue of our Portuguese, can you believe they were once part of the blue tongue Teliquid genus? No, 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 no. Not anymore, because this is actually not actually accurate. Used to be called Taliqua fascist, but isn't anymore because golly wasps aren't anymore considered what's called a skink. Not a skink, not anymore, because they're secretly paraphyletic. It means the group contains last common ancestor. So they split into a bunch of different golly waspers taxonomy groups, because then they call all be different. And now the lizard creature only spends its time in the leaf litter, and also in the nanner plantations. Hold on to your... Banded golly wasp only hangs out in the areas of almond trees. Ever heard of it? They cry, they climb, they climb the trees, but the boys don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. I have an idea though. Do you want to hear this? My idea is funny. I think it's because they like climbing on the bark of almond trees best. Uh, it's all rough, jagged. It's really cool for their feet. See, their feet are funny with the thin toes, so they probably only spawn by almond trees because those are the only ones with the, the, the only peepers they can climb on and escape danger with. Yes? The gallant golly wasps. They can run, and yet also they instead decide to glide on their stomachs. What? Why would you do this? I'm a mystery. Could it be a grand strategy to mimic the slither sympatratic toxic myriapods worms a stylish defense against would-be predators? Or perhaps instead, maybe cool, it's a cool new gliding technique that it just makes them faster. The world of herpetology, it's of a, it's a, of a questions and elegant enigmas waiting to be unraveled. Oh, are they venomous? No. But it's okay that you might think this because that is a part of his plan. They look venomous, so you don't eat this. None of the Dippo Glossies are venomous, uh, but they want you to think this. 
The sad reality of it is, the sad unfortunate fact of the matter is, the sad reality sometimes a gull or wasp will walk to a house of other or other person living space and the people will see them and be scared. And then they kill the lizard. Galled wasps are said to have a very painful sting that is venomous and evil, but it's not true. The accusations are unfounded. Don't believe his lies as the only population threat for them. Other than urbanization, they're okay otherwise, okay? Time to dial down. It is time to dial down. IUCN has slapped the title of least concern on their flashy fiends, but that's not the end of the story. The forests they call home are facing some threats like agriculture and urbanization. Heard of this? Yes. Otherwise, the only threat is people thinking they're venomous and urbanization. Otherwise, they are okay. Switch gears. These viviparous virtuosos lay their eggs in the plush embrace of leaf litter. And when they hatch, they're looking for different uh, different from the adults in a way that is more contrast, in a similar way to a myriapod. And there you have it, it's called a banded golly wasp, a little guy who is weird and weird and, and worm. But hold on to your excitement, please, please! Because our journey into the wacky world of our reptile amphibians is just beginning. Until next time, remember to embrace the curious curiosities, please! Okay, bye. <laughs>